Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is a recorded video lecture for the course Flight Dynamics and Control. Now we are discussing the topic of longitudinal static stability. Uh, aircraft, as we all know, has 60 degree freedom motion and we would describe its motion in either longitudinal motion, lateral motion or directional motion. Right now, we are discussing only the aircraft's longitudinal motion, which concerns pitching motion. Uh, the sign convention uh, for many aircraft textbooks for pitching is that a positive pitching motion is nose-up motion, uh, while negative pitching motion is nose-down motion. Uh, uh, here, we want to analyze the aircraft's static stability in this longitudinal motion. We have learned that static stability um, is the initial tendency of airplane to return to its equilibrium position after it has been disturbed. Essentially, to have static stability, the aircraft must develop a restoring motion, a restoring force or moment to bring it back to equilibrium. Let's take a look at the example of this airplane. Let's say this aircraft is flying in a trim condition, steady state condition, wings level. And then at some point, it, dis it, it experiences a pitch down disturbance. It starts to have a negative pitching motion, um, nose down. Um, if the aircraft is statically stable, the aircraft would develop a force um, to pitch its nose back up, uh, to return itself to that wings level position. Um, if the aircraft is statically neutral, after that pitch down disturbance, it just continues in that pitch down disturbance without any further increase in pitching. Uh, if the aircraft is um, statically unstable, after that initial pitch down disturbance, it will continue to pitch down even further. So that is statically unstable. So essentially, for a statically stable aircraft in longitudinal motion, um, it must develop a kind of like a negative pitching motion uh, to, to restore uh, its equilibrium position. Let's take a look at uh, this wing. In, the, in this first case, the aircraft is uh, in a trim position. Trim meaning the aircraft does not have any pitching moment uh, acting on it. The, the sum of all moments on the aircraft is zero. So this aircraft is trimmed at a certain angle of attack. It is any number of the angle of attack. It is trimmed at that condition, and at that angle of attack, the moment is all zero, meaning the lift is acting right at the center of mass where the effective weight would be at. Um, if this aircraft had an increase in angle of attack away from its trim angle of attack, the the lift force would be acting somewhere in front of the center of center of mass and therefore um, uh, the pitching mo moment increase so this aircraft would experience a lift up uh, motion or pitching up motion so to bring it back to our um, static stability condition uh, we know that the condition for longitudinal static stability is that if there's any positive change of the aircraft's angle of attack, it should produce a negative or nose down change in pitching moment. So um, when there's a positive change in angle of attack, that should be the other, uh, the counter um, pitching motion, uh, meaning a negative pitching motion. So mathematically speaking, it's actually any change. Uh, in the moment with respect to change in angle, angle of attack is negative. So sometimes we would describe the aircraft's um, forces and moments in terms of coefficients. It's more e uh, it's easier that way. So um, then we would say the change in the aircraft's moment coefficient um, with respect to the change in the aircraft's angle of attack, dcm d alpha is less than zero. There's another condition for achieving um, 
stable longitudinal static stability, which is that we want to be able to trim our aircraft at positive angle of attack. Let's take a look at this aircraft with this specific uh, CM alpha curve. This aircraft, first of all, has a negative CM alpha, the ne a negative slope of this graph. So it satisfies the first requirement. Well, so as this aircraft as well, it has a negative slope of CM alpha curve. So the first condition is met for these two aircrafts. Um, but the difference between these two is that this aircraft um, is trimmed at this angle of attack. It's a positive angle of attack. Remember when we talk about trim, trim essentially means that there's no moment or forces acting on the aircraft. Meaning, CM or M, the moment, is equals to zero. Uh, at this point, the pitching moment coefficient is zero at a positive angle of attack. While for this aircraft, pitching moment coefficient is equals to zero at a negative angle of attack. So this aircraft is statically stable because we are able to trim the aircraft at a positive angle of attack while this aircraft is not stable because it is trimmed at a negative angle of attack, which does not quite make sense for a regular aircraft. So there are two conditions for achieving longitudinal static stability, which is first is to have a negative slope of CM alpha curve. The second one is to be able to trim um, uh, at positive angle of attack. Mathematically speaking, it's actually CM naught is greater than zero. CM0 is this term there, the pitching moment coefficient at uh, zero alpha. So we want that to be greater than zero. Take a look at these two aircrafts. There's F1 with this uh, graph of, uh, lift of CM alpha curve and F2 with this uh, graph for CM alpha curve. Um, think which one is statically stable and which one is statically unstable and try to explain why. We will discuss this in class next time we meet. There's another um, sort of like a third condition or an additional condition for uh, stating longitudinal static stability um, that is by taking a look at the aircraft CM versus CL curve. Um, and it turns out the condition for that is uh, we want the CM versus CL curve to have a negative slope as well, similar to the CM alpha curve. And um, we can take a look at why it is that by um, just taking the partial derivative of CM alpha. So DCM over D alpha is equals to DCM over DCL multiplied by DCL over D alpha. We can, we can see quite easily that if we cancel out this DCL term, we get back our uh, DCM over D alpha term. And we know that the condition for static stability is that we want DCM D alpha must be less than zero. Okay, so DCL D alpha is our lift curve. Uh, if you've learned from your aerodynamics class, um, um, this is basic for all aircraft. You have to uh, you must have a positive lift curve slope. At every, when you have an increase in angle of attack, your lift coefficient would increase until you reach a certain point with what we call as stalled, where the wing wouldn't be able to generate any more lift, and so the lift would decrease um, after that point. So um, for every aircraft, we must have a positive CR alpha. So this term must be positive. Um, so we know that in order to get DCM over D alpha term to be less than zero, then it implies that DCM over D alpha must also be less than zero. So that's just an additional condition for longitudinal static stability. So let's uh, summarize what we have just discussed. Uh, we have been talking about the longitudinal static stability of an aircraft and we know that to have uh, longitudinal static stability, the aircraft must be able to develop a restoring pitching moment to bring it back to trim angle of attack condition. And, and mathematically, we can state that longitudinal static stability by taking a look at these two terms, which is the pitching moment coefficient versus um, angle of attack. 
uh, curve, we want the slope of the CM alpha curve to be less than zero to achieve this. Also, we want to be able to trim the angle of it. Uh, we want to be able to trim the aircraft at a positive angle of attack. Therefore, the condition, second condition that we impose is that CM0 must be greater than zero. So the curve must exactly look like this. This is a straight line equation, and the equation is down here. We can also state a, a kind of like a secondary condition for static stability by taking a look at the CM versus CL curve, reaching moment coefficient versus the lift coefficient of the aircraft. And the slope of that curve must also be less than zero for achieving static stability.